Life two million years ago. The Scavenger's Gambit, a Homo habilis survival story. African savanna two million years ago. A punishing sun beats down on a barren landscape. Life here is a constant struggle for survival against the elements. The silhouettes of early humans press on, their journey etched in the dust. Exhaustion is clear on their faces, each layer of dust telling a story of hardship. A child, weakened by thirst, symbolizes the group's fragile existence. Their key to survival, simple but effective stone tools. On these planes, the law of the predator reigns supreme. The struggle is violent and swift. final, lethal clamp of the jaws ends the contest. Precious blood is wasted on the parched earth. The next generation looks on, learning the brutal ways of their world. High above, sentinels circle, waiting for their turn. From the grass, a different intelligence watches and calculates the risk. A moment of tense conflict between a primal fear and a gnawing hunger. The lions feast, their powerful jaws making short work of the carcass. Satiated, the predators abandon the remains leaving a fleeting opportunity. They crouch low in the shadows, completely hidden by the swaying tall, dry grass. From the grass, watchful eyes stare out, sharp with both deep hunger and primal fear. A mother clutches her child close, her breathing heavy in the tense silence. A stone tool is gripped tightly, muscles tense, and sweat glistening on skin. Meanwhile, the lions continue their feast, with vultures already waiting above. With careful movements, fingers brush the grass aside, focus fixed on the prize. A child covers its ears, frightened by the echoing growls of the lions. As a group, they wait in tense silence, caught between danger and dire need. Their nostrils flare, catching the scent of meat on the wind, fueling their instinct. Finally, in the dusk light, the lions retreat. Their chance is nearly here. In his trembling hand, the stone axe feels impossibly heavy a pivotal moment of decision. A silent debate unfolds, communicated through a language of urgent gestures and glances. A mother pushes her child to safety, a universal gesture of protection and resolve. A child's whispered plea for water fuels the group's desperate gamble. From above, the opportunity is clear. The lions are retreating. The prize is unguarded. The leader moves first, each step a cautious test of the silent, treacherous ground. Every footstep kicks up a small cloud of dust, a signal of their advance. As one, they rise from their hiding place, 
exposed and vulnerable on the open plain. A final subconscious adjustment, a deep breath before the perilous advance. The signal is given, a silent command that launches them toward their destiny. Emerging from the grass, they begin their final cautious approach across the plain. Each step is placed with silent, deliberate precision on the sun-baked earth. Through their eyes, the goal comes into sharp focus, a beacon of sustenance and danger. Their grip tightens on stone tools, a physical manifestation of their rising tension. The vultures, their primary competition, have already begun their grim work. Even the youngest are part of this perilous advance, guided by a mother's steady hand. Their movement sends the vultures scattering, claiming the site as their own. The leader's eyes burn with a singular focus, the hunger that overrides all fear. The carcass looms larger with every step, the promise of a feast now within reach. A silent signal to freeze, the final pause before the desperate scramble begins. A new threat arrives. Hyenas, the ruthless scavengers of the plains, take center stage. Gnashing teeth and guttural growls signal their aggressive intent. The leader stands his ground, a wooden spear his only defense against the pack. They respond not with flight, but with a bold display of aggression and noise. Every adult becomes a defender, forming a protective barrier for the young. The unexpected show of force works. The hyenas hesitate, recoiling from the challenge. In their eyes, a new fire, the fierce determination to fight for their prize. A fragile stalemate settles over the plain as daylight begins to fade. The hyenas test their resolve with false charges, probing for any sign of weakness. Bluff and bravery prevail. The hyenas retreat, conceding the carcass to intelligence. The prize is finally theirs. The scavengers scatter, yielding to a new master. Their stone tools prove decisive, slicing deep into the precious flesh. The young eat with desperate urgency, their strength slowly returning. No part is wasted. Even the tough hide is scraped clean for resources. This is a social feast. Food is shared, strengthening the bonds of the group. In a mother's eyes, a fleeting moment of relief amidst the primal struggle. They target the bones, seeking the rich, vital marrow within. This fatty marrow is a superfood, a rare and vital nutrient source. As the sun sets, the group feasts together. A rare, triumphant moment. This is the raw truth of survival, written in blood and grasped in bone. Night brings a deep cold and new fears to the vast, open savanna. In their eyes, the brief flash of lightning reveals a deep, primal anxiety. The chilling calls of hyenas echo, a constant reminder of the lurking danger. With the dawn, their relentless journey continues under the rising sun. The struggle is immense, a testament to a mother's enduring strength and burden. 
Each footprint is a permanent mark of their relentless will to survive. In this arid world, they have learned to read the savannah's ancient signs. With shrewd intelligence, they shadow the giants, using them as guides. A new sensation sparks within them, the undeniable promise of water. Their perseverance is finally rewarded at the life-giving water hole. In the water's reflection, they see not just exhaustion, but profound resilience. And in the eyes of the next generation, we see the unyielding spark of survival.